Hugh. Hugh's just brought me across the Taiharudu estuary to save me getting my feet wet. And it's part of Te Araroa. Hey, let's go through the mangroves here and we'll catch up with Hugh again. And Roz, they run Tide Song BB. Follow me. So you've met Hugh, Hugh brought us across the estuary in the dinghy, save us getting our feet wet, and this is Roz, and they run Tidesong b and you've also got a bit of a campsite for walkers that may decide to stay on and rest their weary feet. And they call you trail angels, because you're pretty helpful, you know, not only getting people across the estuary, but uh, all manner of things, so I guess there's many stories you can tell us. Oh yes, there's quite a few. <laughs> it would take all day. <laughs> but one of the great things is that Roz and Hugh have walked pretty much all Te Araroa, haven't you? Yes. It must have been a fantastic experience. It was five months and a very special part of our life, yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, we, we sort of feel an affinity to the trail and the walkers through that. But um, Seven years ago, Roz gave me a kidney and um, we were asked to go down to... Manukau District Health Board had a day with people to hand out pamphlets and talk about live donors and um, Ros being a keen tramper thought we could do something better than that. Perhaps we could, we could walk the trail to show there's life after a transplant, especially for the donor. Yeah. So um, so we did, well Ros did most of the walking, I accompanied her with a camper van. But, um, we did all this, the North Island. We had to modify the South Island a bit because some of the stretches were a bit long and it was only a year after the transplant and they didn't like us to... In case something went wrong. In case, yes. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, what a fantastic effort. Five months on the road, on the trail. And you must meet walkers from all walks of life, so to speak, and uh, mm -hmm. must swap stories. You know, you've done the trail, they're mm -hmm. doing the trail. Must be some yeah. must be some great times, and you know you not only you guys meeting people from from different parts of the world, but but giving walkers an experience of that Kiwi hospitality by coming through your place. Well, we had a lot of New Zealanders yeah. this summer, right. yeah, and from all walks of life. You're right, mm. yeah, yeah. From international professions to just ordinary things or unemployed. They're trying to decide what they're going to do next, and like say, so mm. yeah. what better than to go on a long walk? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it's pretty life changing, especially for people from overseas, because often we've had people who've just finished their study and they say, um, yeah, well, I'm not sure whether I want to spend the rest of my life sitting in front of a computer now. Yeah. I think I want to do something with people. Or yeah. so. Um, you got time, you know, walking. Mm -hmm. you, I mean, you Definitely. don't have to do the whole trial in one hit. No. You can do parts of the trial, but just being out there, meeting different people, experiencing the countryside, like you say, it gives you time to reflect mm. and and can be life-changing. That's amazing. Well, I know that we've had Hugh bring us across in the dinghy. Roz has put the kettle on and it's got some scones waiting for us <laughs> up at their bed and breakfast facility. Oh, well, we usually so, do meals, yeah. yeah. So I think <laughs> we should go and enjoy that before we head on our way. Mm. But uh, thanks for having us here at your wonderful place Good today. Fun. Thank you. Great. <laughs> Good.